Over 13 million children in the United States live in food insecure homes. Millions of these kids rely on school breakfast and lunch during the school year, but in the summer months, many of these kids can't access meals. In fact, five out of six kids that rely on meals during the school year can't access them in the summertime. Parks and Recreation offers a solution to that problem. With nine out of 10 Park and Recreation agencies offering out-of-school time programs, the Healthy Out-of-School Time Grant Program provides increased access to meals through the USDA Child Nutrition Programs to reach these vulnerable youth and families. The grant program has three main goals designed to help foster the best possible health and wellness outcomes for youth. One, increase the number of meals served to children through the USDA Child Nutrition Programs. Two, implement evidence-based nutrition education that increases healthy eating knowledge and creates behavior change. And three, implementing a sustainable set of healthy eating and physical activity standards. So often we find that community partnerships are really important when it comes to bringing in healthy foods to parks and recreation programming. So making sure that healthy fuel that kids need to play throughout the day, be happy and be able to learn are provided to the community. Since 2010, with support from the Walmart Foundation, NRPA has worked to meet these goals. Over 85 million meals have been served in park and recreation sites, and hundreds of thousands of youth, caregivers, and park and rec staff have learned about healthy eating and changed their diet and lifestyle behaviors. The Walmart Foundation contribution has been really amazing this year. Giving this opportunity to a program like Kids Connection truly means the world. And to each child that walks into our program, whether they're here for an hour or they're here for the next 10 years, your support has been absolutely amazing. With the documented success of this grant program, in 2018, NRPA embarked on a new path to learn more about the communities, the families, and the park and recreation professionals this work impacts. Every community has its own needs, but rural communities have such limited access to resources. The Mississippi Delta is the agricultural portion of the state of Mississippi. Being the agricultural portion of the state, there's nothing that we grow here that we can eat. Access to, to those grocery stores is a, is, a, is a major barrier. We're a town that's 40 miles away from a major city, so getting fresh fruit and vegetables into us is a is a difficult time. We do not have public transportation here, so unless you have your own transportation, it's difficult to get to the store to purchase what you need. For a lot of these kids, lunch and these snacks are the only meals that they get in a day. Nobody should have to wonder where their next meal is coming from, whether they're kids, adults, or otherwise. Meal programs are especially important in rural communities because we know that sometimes the recreation center really might be the only opportunity for kids to eat a healthy meal. So often we get caught up in the challenges in rural communities, but we forget to think about the, the very many assets that do exist in our rural communities. So we really need very viable, economically strong rural communities, and that's going to be for good for all of us, urban and rural. We need a place to keep our youth engaged, to keep our youth safe, to give our youth opportunities that they maybe never knew existed. Local park and recreation agencies are one of the largest providers of summer meals across the country. They serve millions of meals to kids and communities all over. This program provides them after school homework help, it provides them safety, security, educational components like the healthy living lifestyles. Parents are able to drop their kids off at 6.30 a.m. in the morning, so they are really serving the needs of the community in so many ways. Kids Connection provides the leadership that they will need in middle school, in high school, and in the future. Our Summer Meals Wagon delivers to places in town where the kids 
may um, have working parents and so they don't have uh, somebody at home to cook for them. We have uh, had the opportunity to do a community garden. Some of these kids have never been in a garden, let alone know how to how to plan anything. Nutrition education really impacts these kids' lives because they're growing up healthier, they're growing up stronger, um, more conscientious of their health decisions. When kids attend summer camp programs at park and recreation sites, it's not only about the physical activity. Kids have the opportunity to connect with their peers and engage socially and emotionally with mentors and role models at these sites. Even though they have all of these different athletic activities and they're learning about the different sports, how to play different sports, it's also teaching them team building and it's teaching them how to respect one another. It's just incredible that the Walmart Foundation is so willing to fund things that, that aren't short term. I mean, this kind of funding is funding that is sustainable. I mean, it, it's funding that lasts for generations. Kids that aren't active and eating not healthy their chances of being obese are going to be very high. And so if we can combine healthy foods with the Parks and Recs activities, they're going to grow up eating healthy and then they're going to be adults that are going to be knowledgeable of the nutrition meals that they need to eat. The future is our youth and the more that we can help to educate them, the more that we can do to retain them here, the higher the probability of our success as a community for the future. I really appreciate it being here and what they've done for the kids in the, in the community. I believe this place is exactly what we need here to help every kid. A child who's not hungry is a child who can learn.